Last of the Lonely Mushroom Mission, Mission 6. Look at that mushroom. It's all sad and lonely. It's no one to keep it company. It's so sad. Look at off on distance without any friends. Don't worry, mushroom. Be strong. Be strong for me. Be strong for me. Anyways, we need to find Mr. Cannon Guy. And by Mr. Panic Cannon Guy, I mean the Pink Man. The Man of Pink. The Pink Panther. Pink the Pink. And I'm running out of lives. Anyways. Yeah, I was off doing something. I was just off being a retard. Doing some shit. I see fire, I see fire, I see fire. I mean, like. You know, like you fire. You know, like you this freaking shy guy either fucking die. Okay, anyways, you have to jump down here. Okay, anyways, and here he is. He's well hidden. But you can find him, right? Anyways, talk to talk to him. Hi, hey, I'll prepare the cannon for you. Anyways, and there's the cannon. Ready? Hop in the cannon. Okay, whatever, sure, sir. Alright, and really, this is the only mission you'll ever need him for, because the cannon's like in such a bad position that you can't really use it for anything else. Alright, anyways, to get to the cannon, you must follow these instructions. Carefully place part A into part C, and then remove part B from part D. For further instruction, look at the online manual guide. I have no clue what I'm talking about. Anyways, get to this mushroom where you find the red point star, and you see the little path right there? Ah, uh, shit. Get a good running start, and long jump! Yeah, bitches. It takes true Mario skill to do that. Careful, do not fall, do not fall, do not fall, do not fall. T yes, tuck against the wall. Rape the wall if you have to, Mario. I just don't want you to fall. Uh, and here comes the crappy part of the mission. The one where you have to aim, because if you aim, if you don't aim right, you're going to go flying. And if you aim too low, you're going to go, like... Let's try that. Do a fuck! Be right back. Good thing there's a couple of extra lives here. Anyways... Let's see if Fire 2 will go any better. Anyways, and... Even worse. Be right back again. Let's see if Fire 3 goes any better. Come on. Come on. God damn it! Okay. Come on. Work with me here. Okay, finally. There you go. The lonely uh, the lonely mushroom is now no longer so lonely. Why I did the victory lap is because we're going to one of the cooler places that is really unique in the Mario franchise. Well, sort of. It's where you can turn tiny or big. Or really big or really tiny. Anyways, um, some missions will require you to be tiny, some others will be require you to be big. Like this one requires you to be tiny. But you want to start off the stage big. So, yeah. And you go down these pipes, and you turn about really small. And look at this. These guys are freaking like 10 feet tall. And to, add a, and to add to excruciating pain, they also throw fire. Dude could throw fire in my ass. Need coins. Need coins. Anyways. Mission here, fairly simple, just kick these guys' asses. 
Now, it's my mission you might not get it first on account of its name. But it's pretty... It's pretty. It's gonna be pretty obvious if you check the entire level. Where'd it go? If you know what I mean. Oh my god. And I'm not being too loud here or too over dramatic about stuff because it's kind of night and I should probably be asleep by now, but you know what? Hey, that's life for you. And grab your star and we're all done here. Alright guys, hopefully I can get this the right this time, because, God, I've had the freaking worst luck. I've had, like, every L. Pierce nightmare. I had everything that could possibly go wrong, go wrong with one freaking star. Lag, desync, failing, Ugh, it was just horrible. I wish I saved some of those clips, but I didn't, because I just had a frustration. Uh, this is what I get for trying to do new ways of recording. But anyways, let's just okay, let's stop talking about my problems, because then I'll just sound like a whiny bitch, just like T, just like Titus or Titus from Final Fantasy. God, I swear to God, some people just have like, oh shit! Thank God. Thank you for wing currents, but anyways. God, what is it? I think my voice is... I think... Uh, if I could just get a sentence out one second and not die. Nice. I didn't think I would make that. Anyways, if I can get a second out for one second. I, I think I'm just something up with my voice. Sounds a little weird today. Just... Or you guys probably like, oh, hooray, your first probably can. That way, maybe you'll have better commentary. Well, screw you guys. You're so mean. I hate you all. I'm joking. Um, I'm a joking. Anyways, and I wonder what's in the box. Oh, didn't see that one coming. Yay, got a star. It's so shiny. God, I know I made shiny jokes about how awesome stars are, but. Yeah, that's even better. Slight tilting makes everything better. Alright, this for these missions I know I've been doing this out a lot, but and these missions I've been showing which portrait you have to jump in since there's two options. And anyway, since this one you jump in the smaller one. <clears throat> But I think there's a pattern with these. I never really paid attention, but so far I think it's small, big, small. And in that order, you do small mission, big mission, small mission, big mission, and all until you have the six stars of this place, then you got to pretty much cross worlds, or and sizes, and you do the 100 coin mission. It's most, when you do the 100 coin mission here, it's mostly going to be in the small part, because in the big part, there's only like a few enemies that can give you coins, and if there's not any blocks or anything. The coins are just swarming all around here, but you guys just gotta find the right place to look. Like, you can get two eats from killing those piranha guys back from the first mission. Which is pretty handy, I guess, considering there is, I believe, five of, five of them? Six? Also, these Goombas aren't too bad. I... I don't remember, if you butt stomp them, you get like an extra coin or two. Yeah! Butt stomp these and get an extra five coins. Bet you didn't know that, did you? I think I told me with the big ones though. So yeah, don't just jump, butt stomp. Alright, anyways, here we have the mission we came here for. Yeah, he's just saying this is homeland. So we must disgrace him in his own homeland by beating him in a race. He'll never live it down. Just like me. Never living down that one moment. No. Oh, what the? Ah! Jesus Christ! Let's try this again. We are going to win. 
You are going to lose. We are going to disgrace you in your own homeland. I know that probably wasn't the smartest tactic. He's probably going to catch up any second now. Come on. Oh, bitch, what now? No way, you beat me again. And I spent my entire savings on the new Mach 1. Sh he spent his money on shoes? Really? Oh my god, shows. They look like the same old ones. They could have like Mach 1 on the side of them, but no. Nintendo's not creative. Alright, we're done here.